Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Team GB. Today, as you can see, we're reviewing my graphics card, which is an XFX Radeon HD 6870. Now, this is a one gig graphics card. This does up to four displays. It's great for 1080p gaming, especially value gaming. Uh, that's sort of my own expression. Basically, it's cheap, as it was £130. Uh, that was 2011, or start of 2012. Um, it competes fairly well against the same price point uh, in the next generation, that's the 7000 series. Uh, the closest price point is the 7770, and this will beat that hands down. Um, this does amazingly well against the NVIDIA comparison. Um, sort of keeps my keeps to my point. Uh, AMD normally beat NVIDIA for per price point. Um, meaning, if I were to get a well, a 560, uh, a GTX 560, which is on offer, will be the same sort of price point as this. So if you go for between a 560 and a 550 Ti, that's the sort of price range you're looking for here. And this competes with the 560 Ti uh, fairly well, and that's a whole £50 more expensive. Um... As you can see, this is a standard single fan reference, non reference car, sorry. Uh, it's f amazing for actually keeping cool. As you can see, the heat pipes there, the side view, it's them there. Um, now, one thing I do have to mention is that this fan, my god, is it loud. Um, only when running stupidly, stupidly intensive things does it get loud. But when it ramps up, I mean, if you ramp up to 100% in something like MSI Afterburner, um, you can hear it. Obviously, because I use headphones, which I've displayed in my PC overview video, if you want to go watch that. So it doesn't matter for me. Now, one other thing I will mention is it does run fairly well in nearly everything on pretty much full settings. Uh, Battlefield 3 I run at about 30 to 40 FPS and that's on high, not not quite ultra, but to be honest for me on a 1080p display I don't notice the difference between ultra and high too much so that's happy for me. Um, I run Grand Theft Auto 4 um, on everything high besides night shadows because that doesn't really affect too much um, and my view distance is 70 uh, 70 out of 100 um, Centro the third I run everything as high as possible although because Centro the third is more of a console port it's a lot easier to run it on high um, I've sort of plugged the games that I'm going to play uh, just as a sort of demo. I'll give you a quick look over the card, then I'll jump into the games. Another thing I should probably mention is that this is powered by two 6-pin PCI adapters. It's a dual slot card, and before we go, let's have a look at the rear I.O. This one is a dual link DVI, so that supports 2560 by 1600 I wouldn't recommend gaming on super high on one of these cards. Crossfire, beautiful. Um, there is a dual GPU card, sort of like the 6990, uh, but with two 6070 GPUs instead of 6970 GPUs, um, which is just immense in every way. It's slightly uh, it's slightly better than uh, two of these in Crossfire. Uh, it's made by Paracolor, um, and it's amazing, and I want one, but I couldn't afford one, so <laughs> I guess that's what happens. Um, this is a single link DVI, as it's sort of stamped here. I don't know if you can see that VGA. There you go. 
it's, it's stamped VGA. Um, basically that's just telling you that that's the best port to uh, plug uh, your uh, DVI to VGA connectors or adapters, whatever you want to call them, uh, in. This is a HDMI, standard full size HDMI port. All of these, as far as I know, support audio, although not dual channel audio. So, for example, if you had a video on here and a game on here and here, you would hear all of them, all the noise through all channels. Um, there's too many display ports. Now, I must mention, this card does not come with any adapters, uh, any PCI to Molex. Um, any MIDI display port, full size display port, or any anything like that, it does not c come with any of those. The only thing it comes with is an ancient driver CD that you should never use unless totally necessary. <laughs> um, this is the back of the card. It's a black PCB, uh, non-reference PCB. It's pretty nice. Uh, back of the card, some ventilation. Uh, you've seen the rear row, and this is what it will look like when it's in your case. Now, this is an amazing card for amazing value. Now let's jump into some games uh, and see how it plays. Right, now the only reason that this is lagging is because I'm recording and I think my PC has an allergy to fraps. Right. Uh, I'll show you a graph, but I do actually get 60 FPS on this, which sort of says to me that I could easily get a lot, lot higher. I think my PC just has an allergy to fraps. <laughs> It really doesn't like it. Anyway, that's the gist of it. All right, so <coughs> that was a bit awkward. Anyway, um, so this is Centre of the Third. Um, this is on full, everything as full as possible, including eight times MSAA. That's good. He doesn't need this vehicle, I do. Oh, blade. Cool. Yes, I am a blue woman with large areas. This didn't really work out too well. Anyway, let's go. Yep. This is my character here. And they are my, um. posse. I quite like these cars actually. Um, currently I'm getting, uh, purely because I'm recording, I'm getting 22 FPS, although it isn't, as you can sort of see, it's not too unplayable really. 19 wind blurry. <sighs> Gotta love Central the Third, eh? Um, let's go get a VTOL jet, eh? Don't know why I keep saying A. This is my terrible gameplay skills, as we can now see. It's just loading a new level. Oh dear, missed it. Yes, I have completed the campaign, I've completed both endings. Super mode. Let's, let's go. No, I'm not playing with a 360 controller, I've just been bothered to change the settings. <laughs> Let's fly upside down. What I find funny about this is that 
w even when you're flying upside down, the controls stay the same. Although, thinking about it, I am running in extra basic mode. So yeah, 17 FPS, this car performs amazingly well on uh, games like this. I mean, I'm, I'll show you a graph in a minute, but I get, uh, with 8 times MSAA, uh, I get 30, four, between 40 and 60 FPS, and that's average, which is nice. I don't know what else to say besides that I really like this plane. Let's get out of it. <coughs> I don't know why I'm going this way. Yes, I'm level 50. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, I'm not going to answer the cell phone, but what I am going to do is... I don't know. And all the people. Slow mo. <laughs> what else do I? Oh, it's still intact. Quietly doing this, firing a rocket, keeping it locked on, and then pretending it's an airstrike when it works. So I let it go and then aim like. Oh. That didn't quite work. I really, really dislike this person then. Oh, they'll die soon enough. Like that. There you go. It's fun. Anyway. Right now, um, if I can get GTA to work, I'll insert this here. That now. Um, <laughs> if not, uh, I'll just show you the graphs. Alright. I couldn't help but show you one last thing. My airstrike. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I will actually put you on to GTA now. Alright. I lied. I got GTA working again. Um, so right now, for once I'm recording and I'm getting a, a fairly normal FPS, getting 25 FPS, or between 25 and 30 FPS, and um, it's probably going to lag in a second when, yeah, it's now down to 10, that's a bit strange. Anyway, <coughs> this is just sort of my, more like a showcase of my mods really, than, but uh, basically this car performs amazingly well, um, normally I get 30 FPS, which is what I'm getting now. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's <laughs> it's a great card for, especially for the value. Um, as I said, because uh, AM, AMD normally are cheaper per perf uh, for performance wise. Uh, so for my card, the price, the same price card, is probably. Uh, a GTX in between a GTX 550Ti and a GTX 560 um, and they are both well under the possibilities of my card um, and this card will have have a, a very fair fight with a GTX 560Ti and a 560Ti 448 core as well so uh, there's a there's a good <coughs> 50, 60, 70 pounds uh, in between the two cards there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my foot didn't work. Yes, this is a Ferrari Enzo. Key bindings for this this mod pack is strange. I don't like this car.
a little bit there. That one. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, that's. Thanks for watching the review so far. We've got a tiny bit more, just a couple of graphs. I haven't done a graph for uh, GTA, but it's uh, very stable at 30 FPS normally. So I don't, or I hope I don't need to show you that. Um, if you've got any questions, put them in uh, the comments at the bottom. Now uh, go on to the wrap up and review thing. <laughs> One last thing to add, I've just noticed that when I stopped recording I got 40 FPS stable so this car can do 40 FPS on nearly maximum. I'll just do show you the settings. Uh, so 1080p, uh, aspect ratio is auto, that's fine. Texture quality, uh, from texture quality to shadow quality, all of those are high as you can see and night shadows are very high. Uh, it's 18 times uh, androscopic uh, filtering. Uh, view distance is 72. Detail on vehicle den uh, detail distance is 100. Vehicle density is 100. I do not like definition personally because it means that you don't get this nice effect that you can see with the car. You, it focuses on the car but not on everything around it. Uh, and V-Sync is off because there's sort of no point in capping it. Um, I would show you the benchmark, but it's broken. Um, Alright, no, I'll definitely put you on the graphs. Alright, yes, I know I haven't done GTA, but that's even worse for lagging. Um, so, this is the true FPS. This is with Fraps uh, benchmarking. As you can see, it's pretty much on average 30 to 35 FPS. Uh, it peaks at around 43 here. Um, again, or obviously, very playable. Um, it's really smooth. That's on full high settings. And why does Windows keep going to basic? Um, if I scroll down to BF3, God, this graph's terrible. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty much on average 50. And obviously this is on high preset, so if it can run BF3 on high, it can run anything on high. <laughs> um, so that's the overview of my graphics card, um, or review of my graphics card. Alright, so that's it for this episode of Tech Team UB. Uh, if you have any questions about the card, any uh, comments, please post them under the video. Um, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, have a nice day.